Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Wall. Today's topic is can ocean freeze up just like rivers, ponds, and ETC? Okay, before I answer that, um, let me tell you what someone has told me like a week ago. That Osin's is not going to freeze up because of the salt. Because Osin is salt water and Osin's is, is not going to freeze up just because of the salt. Now I did my researches and rivers, rivers, ponds, lakes, reservoirs, ETC, whatever, whatever is fresh water freezes up at 32 degrees, which I have been hearing that we can get freezing rain at 32 degrees. Osins freeze up at 28.4 degrees. I, I, I would say Osins would freeze up just like rivers, ponds, and ETC, but I've never seen every single Osins freeze up. And the reason how I know that I never seen all those trees up is because the higher up you get you can see high above I mean especially if you go in outer space you can see all the water I mean I don't know if you can see all farther down but that that's just my opinion that all those things probably doesn't freeze up I mean was that's going to be the theme for the month of December is outer space so I would probably say it depends on where you you are at. The ocean will, will probably freeze up. I did looked up some locations um, where oceans is freezing, and that is Antarctica, Ar Arctic. I'm going to go ahead and li um, list them on the screen here. So, can oceans freeze up just like rivers, ponds, and ETC? I'm just going to say it depends on where you're at. Because i never seen every single oceans all over the world freeze up. So I would say it depends on where you're at. Um, I could be wrong, but that's just my, my opinion. Okay, it is time to get saved. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. For all have sinned, fall short of the, the glory of God. That means we all have sinned. We all have made mistakes. None of us is perfect. I'd like to go to Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Because we all have sinned, we all deserve to die and go to hell. But don't worry, I got another verse to say you, and that is Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. But God just manifests his own love toward us, and that way we're still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. He died for me and you, so we don't have to go to hell when we die. But we have to do one thing, though, and I would like you to go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10, and we'll jump over to verse 13. That if you confess with your mouth the, the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved or for with, with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confessness is made unto salvation. For whoever calls in the name of the Lord shall be saved. Once you ask 
God to come into your heart, you will be saved. Let's get saved right now. Don't wait till next week because there may not be a next week. Okay, let's get saved. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and that you died and rose from the dead for me. Please forgive me for my sin and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you just prayed, you are now saved. I would like to go to 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 to 13. And this is the testimony that God has given us to our life. And this life is in His Son. He who has the Son of God does not have life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. You can know that you are saved. It's not a hope so, it's a no so. I like to go to John chapter 10, verse 28. And I give them eternal life, and they should never perish, neither so anyone snatch them out of my hand. I like that verse. No one cannot take you away from God. No one cannot. I would like you to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commend you, and lo, I am with you, always even to the end of the age. Amen. Baptism is the next step after getting saved, and baptism does not get you to heaven. Baptism does not. I would like you to go to Acts chapter 2, verse 41 through 42. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized, and that day about three thousand souls were added to them, and they continued set up fasting the apostles' doctrine of fellowship in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Go to church and learn about the gospel. I'd like you to go to first Peter chapter two and verse two. As newborn babes desire the poor milk of the word that you may grow thereby. I like you to Philippines chapter four verse six to seven. The ask is for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God will suppress us. All understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Read your Bible and pray every day. Prayer changes things. Last verse for the day. I would like to go to John chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves us. He loves me and you. That's all I have. Um, next week's topic is why airplanes can't go in outer space. Goodbye everyone.